name is Quack, and this is Hidden Angle, the most f***ed up news of all times. I will immediately answer all questions. You are a plush piece of s***, and I'm Quack. Let's go! G7 agrees to starve the Russian war machine. New day, new sanctions for Russia. It seems that in the nearest future, Russian war machine will starve together with all its 143 million population. But I don't think it's gonna work. Russians love eating shit, and that's their infinite resource. People were kissing four and a half thousand years ago, 1,000 years earlier than scientists thought. What a discovery! I imagine the 60-year-old scientist who spent the whole life to find out that people were kissing. And then, 30 years later, his scientist son discovers that people were also f***ing right after kissing. Netflix, where's my f***ing contract? Two workers test positive for bird flu after working on infected UK farm. I guess these guys have never heard of our Ukrainian biolabs. They once found a Trisiplaco virus, which is a mix of tripper, syphilis, plug, and cholera. So the bird flu is like a seasonal routine for us. French TV channel called Zelensky trip to Europe a circus. Ambassador demands apology. Now, what a professional! She could also take her expertise, put on red nose, spread her legs, and wait for Putin to save her. And yes, we will be very concerned. Oh, by the way, Putin used to call Zelensky a clown either. See how funny it is for him now. Beatrice Flamini, athlete emerges after 500 days living in cave. I imagine her reading the news of the last 500 days that she missed. War in Ukraine, food crisis in Africa, death of Queen Elizabeth, last Oscar ceremony. She must be like, F this shit. put me back to my cave. Woman wears six and a half kilograms of clothes to avoid airlines baggage fees, but get fined anyway. Guess these ladies got inspired by Russians' efforts to take cave in three days. The end is pretty much the same, but on a different scale. Double amputee fined for using disabled space after Warden said blue badge was a fake. Hmm. Thinking of this Warden, I wonder why don't they find people for being pricks? Think of it business-wise. The total number of pricks is way bigger than the total number of disabled space users. For instance, in Russia, there's a 99% population audience. Could be a good input into state budget. Ukrainian state budget. <laughs> Ex-Russian PM Dmitry Medvedev claims Baltic countries belong to Russia. Sometime I think that Medvedev is a secret weapon of NATO. Every time Russia claims some country belongs to it, we have the new member of NATO. Coincidence? Two men shun household chores. Spain is launching a nap to find out. Now Spanish men won't be able to ignore Sangria during siesta, as the big brother is watching them. And hashtag me too. I kissed a boy. Not me, him. Kill kill man on UK's first gay dating show. Whoa. I haven't seen such a massive coming out since the Russian Orthodox Church was found. San Diego man visits all 193 countries in the world. Well, Russians do the same, but the Russian way. They don't visit all 193 countries in the world, because they simply can't. For them, visiting Armenia and Eritrea is now considered a world trip. 
the Irish Times mistakenly publishes fake article written by AI. Fake shit got real now. Can't wait to see fake Pulitzer next. Prince Harry and Meghan say they were chased by paparazzi in New York. I thought paparazzi died when Instagram was found, right after dinosaurs. From my experience, if you want to get rid of paparazzi, start chasing them first. Man pulled over for DUI blames dog for driving, police say. That's my dude. It would be nice to see his lawyer switching seats with dog after they lose this case in court. By the way, this dog trick might be a secret weapon for Putin in Hog. Russia says 500 Americans to be banned. List includes Obama. Tough news for Obama. Now Michelle will have to cancel their family vacation in Sochi and will be forced to go anywhere else in the world. Putin outplayed the world again. Let it go. Austrian town that looks just like Frozen builds fans to stop selfie-taking tourists. Who do you think was taking pictures of China so that they've built such a massive wall? Now I tend to think that International Space Station is just a huge camera for taking selfies with China. Six African nations to send peace mission to Ukraine. I'd like to correct spelling, as peace will not work for Russians. But if we change it to peace mission, there's a chance of Putin farting himself out to death. This should work. Peace mission very much sounds like the whole Putin special operation in Ukraine. 76 days and counting underwater. Florida professor breaks world record for science. 76 days underwater? I'm not impressed, to be honest. There are 200,000 dead Russian soldiers in Ukraine lying underground for more than 400 days already and counting. That's what I call a world record. In St. Petersburg, the new anti-drone squad was created. Snipers are placed on rooftops. They've already announced combat eagles for drone defense, dogs for locating where the drones come from, and now this. Looks pretty much like a Disney Drone Busters movie to me. Gas Station gives free gas to anyone who walks in doing a silly dance. Free gas if we like it. And what would be your dance when the world's biggest gas station explodes? That's all bad shit crazy news for today. Let's hope next week's news will be even more f and the Bunker Dwarf kicks the bucket. See you next week, and try not to sh** yourself from the upcoming news. The sickest news of all time. Hmm, blah. Business-wise, the total... Sha. Sorry.